Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we have a banger of a humble bundle. I know for some of you guys, this is definitely gonna be your favorite one yet because there is huge value here. There are a ton of Proto Factor assets available uh, for Unity. Uh, you can use these in other engines, by the way. I've done a number of videos showing you how to do that. But if you're not familiar with Proto Factor stuff, it is really high quality. But there's a number of other uh, creators in here as well. There's a few things about this bundle that are a bit different. Specifically, uh, it's a little bit more expensive. So the top tier is $35 USD and the bottom tier isn't one dollar it's like eight dollars usd or maybe even slightly more than that i'm not sure how the canadian dollar is doing right now but you'll also notice you're getting a lot more in that particular pack so there's a number of different things from a variety of different creators but i think the ones that you guys are going to be probably most interested in are these proto factor assets because proto factor assets are one quite expensive and two very high quality uh so humble bundles are organized into tiers you buy a hard dollar value tier you get all the stuff below it uh you decide how your money is allocated between humble charity the publisher and if you so choose to do and thank you so much if you do to help support game from scratch. So what I'm going to do is take a quick look at a couple of the assets here, then we'll come back and look at uh, the actual assets you're getting here at the various different tiers. So we're going to look at this one first, the Castle Valley Desert. Uh, this is one of the uh, environment assets in this pack. You can get an idea of the quality of it here. By the way, every demo I'm going to show you today is uh, for the standard render pipeline. Most of these things are, so, sorry, for the built-in pipeline. Uh, most of these assets work with the built-in pipeline, uh, which generally can be easily converted over to the ERP or the HDRP at this point in time. So this is one of the assets. This is the Castle Valley Collection. Let's go take a look randomly at a couple of the other ones here as well. If there's something here you want to see me cover in more detail later on, let me know and I will do my best. So let's go take a look at, for example, the uh, animals pack from Proto Factor. What you're seeing here is you're getting uh, crocodiles, elephants, hippopotamuses, lions, uh, lions, asses, rhinos, and so on, plus birds, farm animals, uh, forest animals, ocean animals, etc. So you're getting a ton in here. And let's go take a look at the crocodile, for example. Everything is set up as a prefix. You got a number of different versions here. So legacy, PBR, uh, legacy, PBR for a dirty croc and a clean croc. Let's go take a look at the PBR version right here. So this is example of one of the assets. It is fully set up and ready to go. Generally, the quality is very high. Now, where it is impressive uh, with their particular assets is, that, again, they are all fully rigged. So go here to animations, for example. And let's go check some of the animations out on this guy. So here is the bite animation. Uh, then we've got, for example, a death animation, and we've got uh, walking animations, and so on. So all of these assets from Proto Factor, very high quality, a number of assets in each one, fully rigged, prefabbed, ready to go, and fully animated. On the topic of animation, we also have an animation pack in this particular asset. Uh, so again, that is from Proto Factor. I believe it is here, the animation collection. So right here, you can see the animations that are available, a variety of different animations. So you got like uh, weapon fire, campfire animations, climbing animations, and so on. Let's go check out some climbing ones, for example. These are all FBX motions, by the way, so you can easily use these in uh, the Godot game engine, Unity, Cocos, wherever you wished. Uh, here is an example of the climbing down animation. Let's just bring this guy over here so you can check it out in action. So if you need climbing animations to go up and down a ladder, here is climbing up, which is gonna look awfully similar, but going in the opposite direction. So climbing upstairs or over environments. And then let's go look at um, fencing. All right, so let's check out some fencing. So you got a variety of animations here. If you're looking for animations to go with your characters, uh, you're getting a ton in this pack. So here we got uh, some fencing animations. So here's an attack, one-handed, and ta-da. So you've got just a huge amount of animations to go along with this particular pack. Again, I'll show you that when we get back to the uh, other details. Another thing we've got from Proto Factor, we've got a sci-fi collection. For example, here you've got assault droids, bipedal mechs, scientific droids, spider bots. Let's go check out the spider bot. Again, everything is rigged with prefabs. So let's go ahead there. We can check the guy out like so. Here is a spider bot from the sci-fi pack. And once again, it is fully animated, so let's go check out what kind of animations come with it. So here we've got an idle animation, a jumping animation. So whenever you're buying a Proto Factor um, a, a tool set or a character set, you're getting fully ready to go. So fully rigged, prefab, animated, uh, tons of different animations in there. Uh, so fully set up and ready to go in your particular game, uh, which is pretty cool. So we've got a couple other things in here. Infinity PBR, uh, they've showed up in uh, previous bundles. This one is coming with uh, the Mimic. So they've got their monster pack, a couple of different monster packs here. Uh, a Mimic is a common character, like a, a chest. So you can see that is a Mimic right there. We'll go ahead and watch this one in animated um, and kind of get an idea of what they're capable of. So let's close that window. 
So they do have audio, they have a variety of different attack animations, so a number of characters ready to go. I find that the, the art style for the uh, Infinity PBR stuff is a little bit more cartoonish, uh, less realistic than the Proto Factor stuff, but uh, there's a decent selection of them there. We'll see those when we go through the list also. Uh, we got more from the PBR, so we've got uh, fantasy creatures here, such as uh, like a demonic creature pack. Uh, so we've got Golems, Oak Tree, Demon Lord. Let's go check out the Demon Lord here. And here is the prefab for the Demon Lord. And there you can see, it looks like he has a giant uh, problem. Uh, so let's go ahead and check out the animation on this guy as well. So there's a ton of different things in this patch. So there's Protofactor stuff. You're getting a ton of animated creatures. And we'll just go ahead and see what one of the animations is like. So basically, this is like a Balrog from Lord of the Rings. Uh, and then you've got here, so one animation, we've got a flying animation here, so check that out in action, like so. And as you can see, they've got like um, rigged weapons, so you do have like a whip effect. Let's go back here, find another attack, so like whip attack right here, and then boom. So you can see it's fully rigged, fully animated, uh, generally really high quality stuff. Uh, over here, and this is just one of the creatures in that very large pack. We got a number of environments here as well. We looked at the Castle Valley. I know I loaded up a couple of the other ones as well. So let's do, okay, Fantasy Exteriors. Uh, this is another one of the assets. This is from a company called 3D Forge. Uh, and let's go see the demo scene for this guy. So we got a variety of different uh, demo scenes showing this. So this one is the Medieval Village and Okay, crashed Unity. So I think that's where we will stop the hands-on portion, and let's go ahead and check out um, the uh, the bundle itself. So again, that wasn't on the asset, by the way. That was just on Unity being buggy these days. Uh, so let's go take a quick look through what you are getting here. By the way, this works out as a redemption key on the Unity Asset Store. Uh, so basically, you just put in your key in the Unity Asset Store page, log in, redeem the key, and then you assign all of the assets to your user account or your organization, and you are done. All right, so at the, uh, I think that would be $8 tier, uh, you're getting the Heroic Fantasy Creatures pack. Uh, that was the one we just saw with the Balrog there. There are a number of different creatures in this pack. By the way, if you wish to learn more about any of these assets, you can drop down right here, uh, find out details about what pipeline it works in or whatever. One thing that isn't obvious all the time is there's also a link there to the, the maker. And in this case, it'll actually bring you to the Unity Asset Store page. And here, just to give you an idea, in the $8, pay, $8 tier here, uh, you're getting a $350 asset. And that's normal. Protofactor stuff is generally this expensive. So if you've been looking for protofactor stuff, this bundle is an absolute godsend for you. All right, so back to the list. Uh, we've got the Heroic Creatures, the Landscapes Pack, the Elves. Uh, this one is from Infinity PBR. Uh, so you're going to get a little bit more of that cartoony style. But one thing about the Infinity PBR stuff is it's highly configurable. So a lot of times you've got, you know, instead of one elf, you can make like an, almost an infinite variety out of what they've got going on there. Uh, we've got the uh, Catacomb Crypts Interior Kit. So basically a bunch of props for creating inside of uh, a catacombs type environment. And the Landscapes Ground Pack Volume 2. We go to the median price tier, which honestly never makes any sense. Uh, and here you're getting the Sci-Fi uh, Characters Mega Pack the Lava Environment, the Castle Valley Desert, that's the one we demonstrated to start. And then we're getting some UI related stuff here as well. So we've got a fantasy, uh, 4K fantasy GUI, uh, icons and uh, stuff for creating your own user interface there in a fantasy style. You're getting a set of high quality, realistic explosions. The Monster Bundle Volume 2 uh, from Infinity. So this is things like slimes, gelatinous cubes, and so on. Ice World Environment, the Melee Weapon Sound Effects Packs, the Village Exterior Kit. This is the one that crashed just, just a second ago. Uh, and then finally, for the full fat or the $35 USD, you are getting the Proto Factor uh, Monsters Pack Volume 1. So as you can tell from the look here, there is an absolute ton in there uh, in terms of a variety of different monsters. Again, all fully rigged, animated, ready to go as prefabs. Uh, here you're getting the Ultimate Animations Collection. We saw a few of these in action. There are a ton of animation sets here. So 23 different sets of animations, so things like climbing, fencing, and so on. And that total includes 2,300 total animations. Uh, all of their stuff, by the way, is set up for a Canon animation, so these animations should work with any of these packs, although obviously a use, applying a, a climbing animation to an elephant may not work out that well. Uh, on that topic, we do have the animals full pack here. There, That's where the crocodile we saw earlier on was from. There's, again, everything from uh, whales to elephants to crocodiles to lions. Oh my. Uh, then we've got the uh, forest environment dynamic nature pack, the monster sound effects pack volume 2, the village interior kit, the wizard spell pack, the uh, monsters bundle volume 8, so this, thing, this is where the mimic came from that we saw earlier on, a giant scorpion. This was been in a previous bundle. I should have actually addressed that earlier on. Uh, I had a variety of these already uh, 
owned, but I don't think in generally it came from previous Humble Bundles. A lot of the Infinity PBR stuff for sure, uh, but if you also buy Unity Mega Bundles, do be sure to check that you don't already own the thing that you're looking at picking up. Uh, but yeah, uh, so we got the Weapons and Armor Pack from Infinity PBR as well, Smoke and uh, Fire VFX. Uh, a sci-fi GUI uh, UI layer as well. So we got fantasy and sci-fi covered here. I've got a set of horse animations here as well. This includes uh, a riding system using the animation animal controller to make your character ride any creature. Uh, so you got a neat, they did a very cohesive set here. If you're looking to create a sci-fi or fantasy game, you're getting a number of animations, creatures, animation controllers, UI layers, etc. Uh, they did a good job thematically here, in my opinion. Uh, so you got the sci-fi weapons uh, special, uh, special effects volume one. Uh, we got Path Painter 2. This is for creating um, like trails and roads, etc. on your train. Uh, it does have to be square train, by the way. That's the one limitation I've seen. If you guys are interested, let me know. I could potentially do a hands-on with this guy specifically. Specifically, because this is the only um, plug-in kind of add-on here. Everything else is pretty straightforward. It's just straight out assets. This one is for creating roads and paths and splines through your uh, game world for, you know, again, doing roads and paths. Uh, then we got the Sci-Fi Omega Pack of Volume 1. I think I showed, uh, yeah, I showed the spider mech from this guy. Again, there are just an absolute ton of different things in here. You can see here from the list right here, just, you know, about 20 or 30 different uh, creatures uh, ready to go, fully rigged. Uh, then we've got the lava environment and then everything else repeats. So uh, I have to say this is a pretty amazing bundle. And I don't normally talk about the price because the price normally is pretty BS. But the truth of the matter is protofactor stuff is normally like $400 a piece. So these packs here, they legit are normally quite expensive. Let's just check the monster one out as an example. So protofactor thing here, come in here, you're looking at 350 bucks for that particular asset. So in this particular bundle, the um, the prices you're seeing here, over here, this uh, $3,600 in value Canadian or like $2,500 USD uh, is probably true. It's probably accurate to most of the assets here. Now, there are a variety of creators here, but there's consistency to it. So again, we've got Protofactor in here. Uh, we've got uh, Nature Manufacturer who have been featured in previous bundles, do really high quality work as well. Uh, Infinity PVR is in here. The UI layer stuff is coming from Honetti. Um, environments, again, nature manufacturer, and then we've got some of these are like Forge, 3D Forge. So uh, there is a consistency through this bundle. It's not all one creator, but I know a lot of you guys do like the Protofactor stuff, and it's hard to fault it. It's really good work, um, and so you're getting a massive deal with this particular bundle. Again, do check. Uh, a lot of these guys have been in previous bundles, so make sure that you don't already own uh, what you're looking for, but I don't know that the Protofactor stuff has been around before. I know it's been in Unity bundles, but I'm not sure about Humble bundle so definitely one worth checking out again you do get a redemption code for the asset store on that same topic you also get uh, an asset store coupon but it's 10 percent off and i don't know uh, if you're going to use this and also it lasts for like a month so this one expires pretty early so september 2023 uh, on the same topic i don't know why but these all do have a redemption deadline it's like a year down the road but uh, do make sure you redeem this stuff uh, before a year from now or it could expire and this coupon again it's only useful if you're going to be buying something right away and it's only 10% off, so meh. Uh, but here, this bundle, uh, I think it's one of the best we've seen for Unity yet, especially because of the Proto Factor stuff. But then again, I am a fanboy of their things. So I'm curious what you think of this bundle in general. So once again, that is the Fantasy and Sci-Fi Essentials for Unity bundle. And again, a reminder, you can use these things in other game engines. The relevant links will be down below if you want to go ahead and check that out. So let me know what you think of this bundle, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.